Okay. Today I wanted to explain you uh, the concept of channels in Chromium. So, um, if uh, like you must have noticed uh, th this uh, something called channels over here, right? And you know initially this was a bit uh, confusing to me. Even like when I st just started Chromium, and you know there were a bunch of channels. You know what does this mean? So, uh, you know, uh, uh, a very simple analogy is uh, the analogy of uh, channels on your television. So, uh, like for example, uh, say you want to watch a certain television program, right? And you know you know that program is on uh, a certain channel. So you flip your tele your remote to that channel, right? Yeah. So, like for example, if I want to watch 60 minutes, and you know I know the 60 minutes is uh, is on CBS, so I just uh, change my channel of my television to CBS. So it's very similar over here. So uh, depending on what you want to see in this chromatogram, you select the appropriate channel. Okay. Uh, in my this example, uh, I have a hydrocarbon mix that I injected. Uh, <clears throat> for my injection number two, uh, I injected the mix uh, into the mass spec. Okay, um, and you know at the same time, you know I had my FID also connected, but you know it was not collecting any data. Okay, so that's why you uh, the, you can see this cross over here. Okay, so this cross means so let me click on this. So it says in the channel front detector is not available for injection number two okay so that means because and that is because you know I had set it not to collect any data okay because you know it was not connected to the column so so um, and my front detector was FID so so um, but but uh, but at the same time my fourth injection what I did was I um, took the column out of the mass spec and put it in the FID and and I set it to collect data on the FID um, and you know I had set not to collect any data on the mass spec. So if I click on injection number four, you'll see, uh, you know, uh, the situation has changed. So right now the tick has a cross, whereas front detector, you know, shows me the chromatogram. Okay. So um, hopefully you got the concept. Uh, you know, using just think of uh, your TV channels and uh, and you'll easily get. Uh, the concept of channels over here. So depending on, so the thing is, depending on what you want to see, you know, what results you want to see on this chromatogram, you select the appropriate channel. Okay. Um, let me go back uh, to my mass spec. So, uh, so uh, basically, my injection number two, I have, uh, you know, uh, the mass spec which is connected to the mass spec. So let me click on the tick. So, um, so this is the tick. Um, so, for, so tick is like total ion chromatogram. It, so it was set for collecting, you know, all the ions from, you know, I think from 50 to 600 or so, or 700 or so, and um, you know, uh, uh, so. But say, uh, let me let me zoom in on this and I'll um, show you the mass spec. So I'll right click and show spectrum, and you know, this is the mass spec for it. And um, you know you can think of it as say I want to see only mass fifty seven, right? You you want to see only mass fifty seven. That in short you want to extract mass fifty seven and uh, have it visible in this chromatogram channel. So you know like I showed you showed you in the previous video. You know right click, extract ion chromatogram, and then I'll see fifty seven. You know fifty seven is very typical of uh, hydrocarbons, right? Actually, <clears throat> straight chain hydrocarbons and I click OK and there you go so my top pane has you know channel um, has 57 so uh, you can see both chromatograms over here because you know both of them are highlighted over here so say you want to see only 57 you click on 57 okay and what you have over here let me double click to zoom out so what you have over here is a chromatogram which shows only M by Z 57 that is chromatogram for only ion 57 so you know uh, hopefully like now uh, the concept of channels and extracting ions and you know uh, uh, is very clear to you okay um, the other thing that you might have observed is something called MS quantitation channel sometimes over here right okay uh, so let me uh, 
let me show you that too okay so um, right now I don't have any processing method assigned uh, to these injections so uh, let me assign a processing method I've already created a processing method so uh, let me double click on this so it's going to ask me uh, processing method is not assigned to the current injections changes will not have any effect assign processing method now so let me assign the processing method now to this injection okay so um, okay so right now it's uh, still you know the channel selected is 50 cents so it's just showing 50 cents let me go back to the tick okay let me go back to the tick so I so I want to see the total and chromatogram you click on the right channel that is the tick okay as soon as I click on the tick uh, you'll see the tick over here in the chromatogram okay and you know let me, let me unclick untrack the results so let me uh, so I've already entered uh, I've already entered you know all the compounds uh, that I'm expecting you know it's basically C20 to C44 okay and um, and uh, uh, so one thing that you might have observed is this MS quantitation channel okay so this is a channel which is created only when you have the MS component table filled okay so this is so like I explained to you in the previous video like whenever you're doing any quantitative work you need to have this MS component table filled out okay uh, so what it does is just extracts the appropriate channel um, well right now you know my MS quant uh, my MS quant peak is basically the tickets measure it's it's, uh, it's 50 to 700 which is which is not right because you know uh, which is not uh, exactly correct you know you should uh, quantitate to you know um, an appropriate uh, single ion peak anyway let me change that now since I mentioned that let me change it so I know that you know 57 is uh, typical of hydrocarbon so let me quantitate on just on 57 okay and uh, an easy way to fill this down is just right click and fill down hmm? oh, that did not work well, okay let me type it in then 57 57 57 57 okay because i know that you know all hydrocarbons are 57 right they have 57 so uh, so so that's the right way okay of uh, 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 of um, you know d defining the ms quant channel to a single ion a very, uh, like a very specific ion so let me uh, click on this ms quant channel and let's see what happens uh, okay so as soon as i click on the ms quant channel you know you'll see the extracted ion chromatogram just for uh, the ms quant peak so this extracted ion is only for ms quant okay so this is c20 c30 so you don't see anything else you don't see anything you don't see the other small peaks that you are seeing and you know um, any other baseline noise or anything like that okay um, so that's that's what this ms quantitation channel is it's just an extracted ion chromatogram for your ms quantitation peak okay so um, hopefully with this example you got the concept of, concept of channels um, let me uh, let me go to the tick again okay and let me select this uh, fourth injection which is just the FID okay so if I click uh, you can see you know uh, all these channels are crossed out because you know there is no mass spec data okay so the only data that you'll see is the front detector which is the FID okay so if I click on this uh, you know, you'll get the FID um, let me do this let me zoom in this area because you know this like like this peak over here is the solvent peak and you know that's overwhelming all the other small peaks so let me just zoom in and uh, they're still very small so uh, what you can do uh, you know to make it up to scale is uh, go over here and you see this button so that is the auto scale button okay the same thing you can do like this from here an auto scale signal okay you click this or you click this so once you do that you know all the signals will be auto scaled okay so this is the FID channel you know which is if you go to the uh, if you go to the hydrocarbon mix and click on tick you know it shows you very similar similar things 
Um, anyway, um, hopefully, uh, like you got the concept of channels, you know, and there's no confusion in your mind. So the one thing to remember about this is whatever you want to see in your chromatogram pane, you select the appropriate channel. If you want to see uh, the tick, you, you know, click, uh, click on the tick. If you want to see the MS quant, you click on the MS quant. If you want to see an extracted ion, you click, you extract that ion and click on that appropriate channel. So, for example, I want to see 57. I click on 57. Okay. Okay, I think I'll stop this video now. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope the, the concept of channels is now clear in your mind. Thank you.